Hello everybody and welcome to this week's episode of 2GW. We're here live from Albany, New York. And oh boy, we are kicking things off in a big way. That we are. Because now we've, we've seen who's qualified for that Warfenheimer match from the Crimson Dojo. Got some heavy hitters in there and also Dark Holder. Yeah. <laughs> I was saying, like, yeah. But now we gotta, we gotta, it's now, it's my, not, yeah. I can't word words. Words are hurt. Now it's my brand's turn to figure out who's gonna be entering that that match on our brand's behalf. And here he comes, the number one draft pick, the the master of moisture, the baron of barbecue, the witcher of welfare. <laughs> <laughs> it's Aaron. Hey. Yeah. Man. Wouldn't it be weird if Aaron had to fight Dark Holder and the other? This is true. It's it's final? a very real possibility. Boy, that'd be weird. That'd be kind of weird. But he's got. A he it's not Dark Holder he's facing here today. He's gonna have a heck of a a challenger approaching him in a few minutes. But we got a big main event planned for today because apparently Nate has uh, decided to invoke his rematch clause. For that intercontinental championship. Ah. So the main see. so the main event here today will be Nate versus AJ Sterling again for that IC championship. Should be a good one. But that's coming later. Because right now we have the big man Aaron in the ring. And oh those those pyro things pop out of nowhere. And oh, God, oh it's here Polish he comes. Guy. It's the Polish guy. It's the rated PG superstar. And he's coming in hot. He's coming in fast. Aaron better get his big small ass out of the ring, otherwise he's gonna get run over by the Polish power. Yeah. And yeah. The Japanese jalopy. <laughs> I mean, Polish guy is a heck of a competitor, and he, he bring he brings the hype. He brings the noise. He brings the crowd to their feet. That he does. But I mean, he's got to keep some of that enthusiasm because he's going to have a hard-fought matchup ahead. Yeah. That hype better be dry to combat Aaron's moisture. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing better than dry hype. <laughs> Can we not talk about Aaron's moisture? I mean, okay. Uh, George calls for the bell. Here we There's go. Uh, oh, 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 God. He's running in. Oh, man. Aaron is... He's he's hitting on all cylinders so far. Oh, Polish guy's trying to fight back. It's thrown to the road. Oh, oh, and a big sidewalk, sidewalk slam. slam. Oh. Polish guy better do something. Oh, oh he answers Connors. with the right hand. Oh, Aaron answers with his own right hand. Oh, Punch the, the gut. gut. Oh, God. Oh, choke bomb. I think. He's using his height and power. Oh, wait a minute! Oh, he's just locking in the hand! On the ground! Over, and that's it, it's over! I... Uh, uh, okay. I thought we were going to have a real match, but yeah. apparently Aaron got impatient. And Polish guy goes down like so many others before him. That was... He locked it in on the ground. He didn't even wait for Polish guy to get up. I didn't even know he could do that. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to 2GW. We're here live from Glendale, Arizona. And we have yet another Warfenheimer qualifier coming up for you. Here's the hype man. The resident hype man of 2GW. It's Mr. Clambo Fiend. Playing Crody. Yeah, you know, um, Anyway. <laughs> Cody. You know, because it's, you know, it's not Combo Fiend. Yeah. Because Combo Fiend plays Cody. It's yeah. Clambo Fiend, so he's playing Clody. Clody. Chloe? Chloe? So anyway, another Warfenheimer qualifier match coming up uh, in a few minutes. And so apparently, GM Winslow originally had this match slated to be a one on one between uh, Clambo Fiend and Old Man Street Fighter. But. I guess in, like he decided to spice things up by making it a triple threat with a yet unknown competitor. Mm. So, 
Not sure how, like, I mean, Clamovane is a competitor. He'll take on all comers. Like, yeah. yeah. Uh, words. Yep. And here's Old Man Street Fighter. Looking as old as always. <coughs> yep, but he's still kicking. Hopefully. Still wrestling. Good old Conra. Good old Red Foreman. Nice wood titan tron. Because old old people like being in the garage. Or the, the woodshed. Well, and like their projects. Wood. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> they like their wood a lot. Well, I wonder uh, who the, the, the third competitor is, is, is going to be in this match. I mean, hopefully it'll be somebody competent. Hopefully. Maybe maybe it'll be Polish guy getting another chance at it. Oh. I don't think he's gonna be up for it. I think he's I think he's out cold, to be fair. And, and uh, Oh it's Santa Claus. It's Santa Claus. The Speaking of Jolly Old Saint Nick traded from Crimson Dojo. You know. Speaking of choke victims from Aaron's assault. <laughs> Santa making his 2GW debut last week and promptly felt the wrath of the water spout. Oh, gross. Anyway. Here he comes to compete for the Orphanheimer. Good old Saint Prick. <laughs> With his shiny pants. Jolly old Saint Prick. Sexy boy Santa. <laughs> Heartbreak claws. <laughs> He's just a jolly boy. Jolly boy! <laughs> Santa could potentially secure his uh, spot in the Warfenheimer match. He could. He could, but he's going to have... To, uh, this is... You have former IC champion Clambofin. You have the longest reigning world champion, Old Man Street Fighter. So it's basically Clambofin versus the elderly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and Clamofi hits a big suplex. What? 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 Oh, what? Uh, Santa is fighting an invisible man. <laughs> <laughs> Seems uh, Alzheimer's has set in a little early. <laughs> what was he doing? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, those things happen. <laughs> Dumb wrestling is a magical place, folks. And Clamovian comes running in, hitting nobody. Hopefully, this hopefully this match got cleared by every you know, so that way Clamovian doesn't get charged with assaulting the elderly. Yeah. He drop kicks Santa, who doesn't do much from it. Oh, God. oh. Using that freaking that large belly that's filled with milk and cookies. And oh. Double you know, knee press. And holiday cheer, and there goes Santa, making like Limp Biscuit and rolling to the outside. And it's back to the true one on one between Clambo Fiend and Santa. Or, uh, old, old Man, man Santa, Santa Fighter. Santa fighter. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, it's time Clambo Fiend to get up, and Santa making his way back to his feet to, on the outside. Here he comes! Diving drop kick. Oh, oh, he misses. Oh. And I think, did he, did Clambo Fiend sidestep? I think he did. I think he did, yeah. You know, man, Street Fighter, he's got a little bit of hops in him. He's not that much of a dud. Yeah, those old bones are still movable. That they are. And they're moving outside the ring right now. Because he just ate a stiff right hand right from Santa. Sidewalk slam. And you probably asked him, he hits him with the what do you want You want for Christmas. <laughs> Climb up and throw Santa to the apron. Oh, oh man. Shola checks him right off the apron. No man street fighter back in. Final team comes back in to go after him. The fireman's carry. So he's gonna bring him to the ropes. Right off. Some of the classic and Clamathin running around. Climbing deciding to what the top rope. Climbing to the top tier. High risk maneuver. And no. No. Alright. Okay, I guess, I guess he thought oh, he saw Old Man Street Fighter getting back to his feet. Went for a suplex. Old Man Street Fighter blocked it. Big section. Face oh. oh, push right to the knee. He put him across his knee. Teach him a lesson, and here comes Santa! Santa is looking awfully confident in himself. And awfully round. <laughs> filled with holiday cheer and fat. Yep. He's the jolly boy. 
Oh, oh big suplex. Oh, Clam if he blocked it. Punch to the ribs. Drop to the He's not your gift toy. Nice. Yeah. The first suplex on Old Man Street Fighter and he Oh, oh there's a suplex. Old Man's fighting on the ropes on the way down. Yep. Final feet and firm control. Oh! Oh, he's, he's got the arm. He's wrenching the arm. Going up to the top, he's doing the doing the, the balance that patch. That balance patch, Santa's on his will he not climb off enough? Nope, he just no. lets it happen. He's nerfing uh, it's old man Street Fighter. Old man Street Fighter and that those those season 47 nerfs. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Santa's got Clambo Fiend. Oh, it chucks him into the post. Shoulder first. And that's a metal post, folks. That move, that's not moving anywhere. But Clam, Clambo Fiend right back up. Oh, the military press. Nope. Clambo Fiend fought out of it. Into a big DDT. Oh, man. Street Fighter feeling the effects of that recent move. Into the midsection. Oh, season through. pass. Oh, no. No. He blocked it. Oh, I'm just carrying up. No. no. Street Fighter with the counter. Oh, oh, he's got that look in his eye. He's making him regret his life decisions. Oh, the, the downright the fierce. Downright fierce. You can't nerf him. He's still got a fireball. There's a couple in. Santa breaks it up. He established a fireball game, and he nailed him. With, oh, Santa with a big suplex. Oh. Stall that one a little bit. Oh, he's got cover on Clambofiend. He might steal the one. win here. No, nope. count of one. Lambo Fiend shaking the cobwebs out. Right hand, nope. Lambo Fiend fights his way back up. The Mastery Fire disappears behind the, behind the ring. Scooped up. Power oh, slam! Legs, Lambo Fiend. Goes for the Lambo cover. Lambo cover. Hooks the leg. One. 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 And the old man back to his feet. Slides back in. A little dazed. Shake back in. Oh, sh shaking the cobwebs out. Immediately going after Santa. Oh, and the big face buster right to the knee. Well, oh, wait a minute. Celebrates, and Clambofiend goes for... With some kind of submission into a leg sweep. Oh, man, Street Fighter is down. Santa is very wobbly on his feet. Oh, goes to scoop him up. Gets a DDT. Santa lets out a hearty oh. ho-ho. <laughs> lets out a hearty ho-ho-ho. Oh, and what's Old Man Street Fighter going to do? Oh, he's show, showing the strength. He's muscling him up to the top rope there. Oh, Santa, Santa kicks him off. off. Is he going to do something? Nope. No. Because he doesn't have much, much rope high. Much rope high. No. God damn it. He can't do much flying without a sleigh. Yeah. I will be on his knees on the outside. Making his, using the apron to pick himself back up. He's running back. Drag him to the middle. Final thing breaks him up. Final thing is he is hitting on all cylinders right now. Uh oh! Whoa. He's got him up! Season, season pass! pass. Nail Santa with the season pass! Makes the jolly old Saint Nick pay for all of it. And he hooks the leg. There's a cover. One, One two, three. Whoa. Whoa! Two and seven eighths. That was really close. That it was. I mean, I don't think old Saint Nick is used to delivering season passes to the kids. Oh. Ropes. Oh, bumps into Old Man Street Fighter on the way. Turns around, decks him. And a kick to the knee of Old Man Street Fighter into the DDT. This is Clambo Fiend's game right now. And it is. He, like, you know, Santa kicked out of the season pass. Oh, there's a cover. Old Man Street Fighter. One, two. 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 Clambo Fiend didn't, didn't let the saltiness get the best of him. He's, he's staying on the attack. Oh, trying to hold. Pops his head out of the nest. Got him by the scruff of the neck. So he's going to bring him to the corner. Oh, nope, nope. He turned around. Maybe he didn't like that corner. He's Santa on getting the... very... Oh, and Santa's side. got Clambo oh, feet! Suplexes him off the apron into the offside. What a suplex there by Santa. All three men now on the outside. Looks like Clambofiend is the target of the old man. They're going in after him. Old Man Street Fighter going for the cover. Santa immediately breaks it up. Santa says no. Looks like he was he fainted a punch at George. I mean, the Alzheimer setting in. Oh, oh the Boston Crab. Yeah, Boston Crab. 
Made by Street Fighter, rolling to the outside. Now it's Santa's match to win. One, two, no, nope. one, one and a half. Kind of a great counter. That might have been a low blow, but this triple threat, no disqualifications. Oh, he's got oh, the he's arm. Got the he's gonna he's nerf Santa. He's climbing those ropes. How are you gonna do this? How to you old gonna Saint Nick? How are you gonna nerf Christmas? Oh, oh and hits him with a balance patch. Going to pick him up. Oh, never mind. Santa countered with the arm wrench. Flips him over into the cover. One, two. two. Oh man, Street Fighter's in. And he goes right back after Clambo Fiend. Down. Oh, he went for the downright fierce! Oh, Fiend. suplex. Oh, he held on. He held on. I thought that was the season pass. Nope. Back suplex. Nice nice combo there by Clambo Fiend. Santa letting it happen. Oh, wait a minute. Speaking of Santa. Oh, there's the there's Another the season, pass. season pass. I mean, just because he makes the toys doesn't mean he has the money. This is true. He hooks the leg. Goes for the cover. One. Two, three! And there you have it. Your winner moving on from the qualifying round is Clambofiend. Clambofiend picking up a huge win, and it's Mr. Clambofiend moving on to the Warfenheimer match. Yeah, uh, he is. He has defeated the old men of the brand. Yeah, you know, the elderly, they got to... They gotta get out of the way at some point. Yeah, they gotta. Clambo Fiend making, continuing his rise. They gotta get with the times. Yeah. Hello everybody and welcome back to 2GW. We're here live from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and we have another Warfenheimer qualifier coming up. But uh, uh can we just talk for a minute about what just happened? Yeah, I was gonna say bring it back a little bit because we, something just happened in the locker room area. Now there's Zangief making his way to the ring for the match, but Jeff! Nice guy Jeff! Jeff has snapped! He just Brutally assaulted AJ in the locker room. He busted him open, whacked like was that that was a broken trash can, and he had a chair, and he whacked him with a brief briefcase, a metal briefcase. It's like what? What has happened? What? What has come over the, the usually very positive and chill Jeff? I mean, veganism does that to you. <laughs> I mean, it might. I mean, depending on what you're eating. Yeah, but. I mean, what they not getting your daily amounts of protein, you're depriving your body of uh, stuff. Sure. Yeah. But yeah, it's like that's gonna that might throw a major monkey wrench into our main event. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so the match at hand that's coming up, uh, we have the RNG champion Zangief versus probably the most intense competitor on this brand. No offense to anyone else. Yeah. But this man... And I use the term man very lightly. He is... Parts man, parts beast. All sleep deprived. Yeah. Because here he comes. It's Vig the Barbarian. And... This match will this match will decide who is the sixth and final person to enter that Warpenheimer match. Will it be the Red Cyclone Zangief, or will it be the ever intense Vig the Barbarian? Which have we even said what the Warpenheimer match will entail? Do we even know what it is yet? I I don't know. Might be a word. Mm. Anyway. So this will have to get word on AJ's condition for that main event. This is true. But for right yeah. now, there's the bell and oh, oh. on oh. oh, Vig with the hard throw the hard. knees. I mean, it's like you know, this past Monday on the Crimson Dojo, we had Delgado versus the Mass Marble. I feel like this match right here is the 2GW equivalent. It definitely should be. These these are two very big, very prominent men. Emphasis on big. Mm. The cat. 
and Keith with a big right hand. Oh, oh we're just manhandling him oh, up. Oh god. The big power bomb. Oh, oh goes for that. the Oh, he's gone by, by the beard. He's got him by the beard. What's he gonna? Oh, oh god. god! Mushing him back down with his foot. It's like Zangief is huge, but deep. oh, his headbutt. Oh, he held on to him. Oh, another headbutt. Giving him a taste of his own medicine. And a third. Oh. As Geef gets a little tangled up in those ropes. Triple towards Fierce. Nobody expects the third one. But oh. Keith right back in it. Atomic drop. Oh, the hard atomic drop. That'll mess up your spine. Now Keith, oh. all using the strength again for the power bomb. Oh. What's he gonna do? Oh. Caught up on the ropes a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, oh finally gets himself done. Self untangled. Rolls out of there. Combat. Roll! Oh my oh, god! What a huge clothesline. What a clothesline. Could have took his head off. Gotta make sure Geef's head didn't go into the second row. Apron. Oh. Toss him back over. Making it look easy. Geef is 399 pounds. Yeah. This is a barbarian. This is true. He only knows strength. It's like how much strength? I don't even think we. I don't even think he knows. There is very little limit to what he can accomplish when he gets mad enough. Or or when he bleeds. Yeah. Nice counter there by V. I think Keith might have been going for a choke. Oh, speaking oh. of choke, he's got it in. Choke slam. Choke slam. A nearly 400-pound choke slam. Pulls him into the cover. One out of one. If Keith knows what he's doing, he's gonna try to avoid damaging Deeg's head as much as possible. This is true. Oh, oh my no. god! He might not even get the chance he to. He might not. Oh he's my got god! In. He's, he's got a barbarian bomb! Oh god! And there's the cover. Could this be one, one, two, two, two. No. count of two. How strong is he able to get the nearly 400 pound Zangief up like like he's a cruiserweight? It's just the the the, ma the madness and all into the turnbuckle oh. and then a big power slam. Oh, he lets out a big monstrous roar and just flexes, and Geef having to use the ropes to pro prop himself back up. Toss him over the apron. With the right hand. Goes to deck him, gets countered. Is he Oops. going for a scoop? Nope. nope. Vig says no. Pushes him away. Almost collides with George. Oh, right nope. hand. Missed it. Nope. Vig blocked. Right. Uh, forearm. Makes his way back over. Get to the midsection. DDT. DDT. Hard DDT. Right into the, the cover. cover. One. 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 Oh. Clawing down on that big shoulder muscle. Keith making his way back up. Fights him off. Shot finally. to the rib and a sh oh, and punch right to the jaw. There's oh. a choke. He got him by the beard. And the military press into the spine oh. buster spine slam. Buster. Cover. Cover. One, two, two, two. 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 Keith can't believe it, but he can't, he can't let himself get frustrated. I have a feeling this match is far from over. Big shoulder, that massive shoulder to shoulder. Oh, oh, oh. another choke. Here running. he comes. No. no. Keith he fights out of it. Keith says no. Keith might be going for the pile driver. Oh, no. No. Back and forth. Into the cover. Into the cover. One. One. Number one. I was hoping that surprise would take him, but. And he right, was able to get out of it. right back into that shoulder claw. Keith fighting out of it again. Makes his way back up to his knee. Shot to the chest. Shot to the jaw. Front face lock. Oh. Arm wrench. Into. Oh. What, what's going on here? Oh, oh a torture big torture rack! rack. Nope. No, I nope. think that might have been a rope break. 
Using that height to his advantage. Oh, big spine oh, buster! Spine buster. Now it's, he's got a lot of momentum here. Cool. And a big oh, bat breaker. Oh, oh, he's looking for it. This could put, this could end it right here. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, the pile driver. The pile driver lands. And, and oh, oh man, locked it around a little bit. There's a There's cover. cover. One. One. Two, 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 two and a half. He dropped Zeke right on his head. He's getting into dire straits. Uh oh! Oh, he wants to do it again. He, oh, oh, Zeke countered. He was ready for it. Zeke was absolutely ready for it. He's got him by the scruff of the neck. Snapmare takedown. Snap going back to that shoulder claw. He's working away at that shoulder. Locked in that time. Oh! Uh -oh. oh no! Crap! The crowd bursting to their feet. No! no. Keep counters. And the oh. military press. Oh! Making look, making it look easy. There's a oh. choke. Another choke hold. The military press into the spine buster slam. Get him off. He's knocking real hard. Going for that pile driver again? No! no. Counter oh. into a big DDT! There's a cover. There's a cover. Deep right by the ropes though. One, One two, two. Count of two. two. Oh. oh. Now V is clawing at Deep's shoulder. Deep fighting out of it. Oh. oh. There's a shot. There's another shot. Big left, big left hand. The go by oh. the German suplex. suplex into the pin. Rope break. Oh. Rope break. That height, you know, he, because he's so tall and Geef as well. They're all, they're always close to those ropes. Oh, oh spine buster! He answers back with his own spine buster. Oh, uh -oh. another choke hold. He's got him up. It choke, oh, slam. choke slam. Not done. He's not done. Right, right hand. hand. Russian leg sweep. sweep. Don't see that too often from V. Cover. cover. One, two. Oh, two. Oh, 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 right hand. Right to the ear. A hammer fist. Oh, oh no. no. I don't know if Keith can survive the second one. He always got. Can you get him up? He oh. can. Barbarian bomb. bomb! And Keith is planted. There's the cover. cover. One, two, two. No! no! Keith is able to get a shoulder up after a second Barbarian Bomb. Oh, Vegas tough, but the fatigue might be might be setting in a bit. Just delaying the inevitable at this point. Whoa! Great counter there by Oh my god! Macho cold. Into the military press! Spine Buster! Buster. The third one! That'll rattle your spine. And the crowd is on their feet. Big power oh. slam! Oh, there's a cover. There's a cover. Nope, rope break. The rope looks so small in comparison to these men. The back and forth battle of the beasts. And oh, he went running in for something. Big counter military press! Oh. Uh -oh. oh, he's looking for another pile driver. There he is. Will he get it? No, it's oh. the German suplex. The German suplex. Oh, big too close to the ropes. These men too big. He needs to pick his moves more carefully. Those rope breaks really working up, working against Vig's favor or Geef's favor. Sorry, I know names. Okay. Oh, the corner. Sits him up on the top turnbuckle. Oh, he kicked him away. Him off. I don't, I don't feel like that. Oh, oh, there's a body shot. There's another one. It's another one. Just keeps going. Oh, he's lighting him up. Oh, giving him that combination. Into the cover, middle of the ring. One, two, two. two. One, two. This crowd is going nuts. Oh, oh I don't think I don't think Geef appreciated that kick to the back. Spine buster. Just chokehold after chokehold. There's so many. Right into the cover. One, One two, 
through the... No! Oh, that was so close. That was close. You can't believe it either. Gotta believe it yet. The oh. end of this match might be near. He wants to put him away for good now. And he does. Oh, no, no German suplex. Oh, Hits him with the pile. Right uh oh Uh-oh. Could that be? It could be. If this doesn't do it. One, one two, two, three! And there you have it. Zangief has triumphed over Big the Barbarian in just in time. Just in the nick of time. Because that would have spelled disaster if Big was able to get up after that. And the, the sixth and final man that's going to be inserted into that Warfenheimer match is the Red Cyclone, Zangief. That is fitting to be a very, very good match. That it is. And on top of that, during the match, I just got word what that match will be. Oh, really? It will be, for the first time ever in dumb wrestling history, it will be an Elimination Chamber match. Oh, that's going to be fire. And also, I've also heard word that next week's main event on the Crimson Dojo, your brand, Joe, yep. will be a six-man tag match featuring the six men in that Elimination Chamber match. Yep. Yep. That's the, that's the thing I did. Yep. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to 2GW. We're here live in San Francisco, California. And it's main event time. And looks like it's going to be uh, Nate going one-on-one -on -one with Jeff the Vegan with the IC title not involved at all. Yeah. Like, Jeff took out AJ, so he won't be competing today. Yeah. I mean, that's... that's that guy, uh. That's got to really piss Nate off. But usually, underhanded tactics shouldn't be rewarded. I mean, it's like, I guess Carl Wins will figure it's like, you know, Nate's here and might as well have him compete. But, I mean, it's, st it's still, I still wonder, it's like, what the hell has gotten into Jeff? You know? Yeah. It's like, he, it's like he lost that, the minimum wage title match to Excalibre. And then it's like, it must have really just bothered him. Took some sense of his sanity with it. Yeah, I mean, no, not trying to you know lower the prestige of the minimum wage title, but it's not like it's a world title, right? But yeah, it looks like it's gonna be Nate going one on one with Jeff, and oh, what oh, the whoa. hell? Excuse me, who is that? Who is that? That's. And um. Speaking of Jeff's sanity, he looks—he looks like a the Jolly Green Giant if he was made out of cannabis. Yeah. So yeah, apparently, uh, Jeff has lost all sanity. He, yep, and he's. he's with somebody else that's made out of plants. Yeah. Who is that? Who is this? Is, is this a is this a one on two? Is this a handicap match? Nate's telling him to bring it, and it looks like it is gonna be a one on two. Oh god. Nate, what are you doing? That that green man is is huge. He is huge. And, oh Little camera issues. There we go. And the, oh, oh my God! Oh, Cole Nelson suplex, just tossing Nate. And what the hell? Like, these, like you mean Jeff and this this massive green man don't even have to tag in and out? It's, it's, who who allowed this? Who signed this on? General Manager Winslow. Camera issues. Camera issues. And off the ropes oh, comes off that. Off the ropes and into nothing. okay, into nothing. And then just stomping Nate down. Jeff finally got his hands on him. Chucks him into his partner that does nothing. Oh, oh but Jeff right. caught him. Nate with the counter. We, we, we never even saw this man's name. Who is he? What? Oh, oh there's a headbutt. And why? Look at, the, look at his trunks. They're glowing. I don't think it's healthy. If your food, oh my god! If your food is glowing, you should see, like, getting you rid of it. You should return it, or get rid of it. 
and or quarantine it. <laughs> Looks like it's glowing, glowing green. Yeah. And oh, it's Jeff and this plant-based man is. And oh my! Oh God! What a big slam that was. Running a plant-based train on Nate. And George is in the ring, and he's he's just letting it go. I, I, I guess the commission's in his ear, and he's telling him to let it go. I mean, like you said, it's like, you know, underhanded tactics shouldn't be rewarded. I mean, at least it's not for a belt. Yeah. That'd be a little much. As Nate ha rolling out of the ring. And the, the plant man is just roaring with delight. And Jeff throwing Nate headfirst into the apron of the ring. Oh, Jeff is... Oh, got a knee in there. That knee, knee strike right to the face. They're just beating him down on the outside. George is counting. Count was at three, I think. Three or four. Three or four. Oh, oh the scoop. Scoops. Nope. Counter. Oh, countered by Jeff. And here comes that giant green man. Green man interrupts. Turn around. Oh, Jeff does a nice front foot. He's just continuing to turn Nate around in the corner, but throws him to another corner. Oh, God. oh body splash. Just a, Nate just getting a field of green to the face. He is doing his best to fight off both of these men things. Yeah, both green men. Oh, what a spin kick oh. by Nate. Oh, oh Nate caught it. Oh, he kicks the legs. Oh, but Jeff, Jeff kicks him off. Expertly flips him off of his legs. That was neat. Oh, it's scooped up. So he goes to the corner. Oh, 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 God. Right off the turnbuckle. Could, I mean... Jeff content to let his partner do the work, and they bump into each other. And it's like a power bomb. No! Oh, oh power bomb. I just tossed him. I mean, like, Jeff took out AJ Sterling earlier, and that, it looks like they're really trying to take Nate out here. Could, could Jeff be... Trying to stake a claim to that intercontinental title. It might be. He's definitely pulling a power play here. Oh god! And that giant leg drop. Almost like a tree limb. It's a plant man. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, it looked like Nate was going for a headbutt, but he got caught. And Jeff running in with the oh, forearm. He's running around his partner just to get to Nate. Oh, the full Nelson. Jeff is picking his shots. Oh my god! Oh, what, what is kind this? Of, what kind of some? What? I've never seen that before. And the plant man just watching. Oh. Oh, Nate oh. able to fight out of it. Nate rolls out of it. But but the plant man right there. He can't get anything going. He goes after one. The other one comes oh. in. Oh poor! What what is this man doing? Oh no! Runs. Oh, oh, oh god! god. What a collision! Jeff pulls him over to the middle. Oh, goes in for Jeff the cover. just picking up the scraps. One, two, no. Oh, a two. Nate is not done. He can still fight. Oh, he oh my god! Shouldn't. He probably shouldn't. He just got three oh, kicks no. to the back. The plant man's looking real powerful right and now. Choke slam! Oh, choke, choke bomb! bomb. And a, oh, look and at again, that! Jeff look at that! One, one, two, no! No! Nate showing resilience and heart. Oh, oh and a big a splash! splash one, one, two, no! No! Nate is doing his best to fight off these two green meanies, greenies, greenies, greenies. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jeff running into his partner. No, no, oh. big su that suplex-like maneuver. Jeff cheering while his... Oh, Nate with the double leg takedown! But it's like, as soon as he takes down one, oh. the other's right there. He should just give up while he's ahead. Oh, and that pile driver. And Jeff with the cover again. One, One two, three. three! And there you have it. The Green Squad is your winner. 
Talk about underhanded. Talk about unfair. What is this? Jeff just picking up the scraps. Letting his partner do the dirty work for him, setting up his own opportunities. Who the hell was that? We don't even know his name. He's just... He's just green. He's just giant green man with neon hair and trunks. Yeah. Yeah. He looks radioactive. Yeah. It's bad. Well. Well. That was that. That was a main event. And that'll do it for this week's episode of 2GW. Tune in mm -hmm. this Friday for Vendetta. To where the ladies go at it. And hopefully the whole roster is like, accounted for and we don't have any surprises like this. Yeah. Uh, uh, bye. bye.